Paradise Wildlife Park uh, and today we're actually making food for our free banded armadillo and um, we've actually got three armadillos here at the park and we try and vary their diet as much as possible but it's really really important to try and replicate as much of a natural diet um, and try and replicate um, what they would get in the wild. It's also really really important when you're preparing any food uh, not just for like um, the armadillo as I'm making but any animal's food that you should really wear gloves and um, even though you may have washed your hands thoroughly uh, and we think that they're nice and clean there's actually a lot of bacteria or germs that can get stuck underneath your nails and you really don't want that going on to your animal's food and um, also some animals are a lot more sensitive than others for instance primates uh, and we have primates that are sharing the enclosures with our armadillo so that is also another important reason as to why we wear gloves so here we've actually got an insectivore mix uh, this is uh, designed basically for any animals that will eat lots and lots of insects in the wild so this here this product is called insectivoro and it's by a company called Hayes. Uh, and uh, this is what we give the armadillos usually on a daily basis so it is designed uh, solely for animals that would eat lots and lots of insects in their diet. Armadillos it is their main um, form of food out in the world and uh, so they get a nice mixture of that uh, in their diet usually on a daily basis. Uh, we do often give it to them dry uh, but to change things up as well and it makes it quite nice and easy for them to eat we do often soak it with a little bit of water um, as well. Um, we also give out lots of live food um, to, our armadillo, uh, to our armadillos as well and um, today they're actually getting uh, mealworms um, but that's not to say they get mealworms every day, they get a lovely variety. So we give them morio worms, they get uh, locusts, crickets and occasionally the odd waxworm as well. Um, so we also give um, our armadillos the ex insectivoro uh, mix uh, with a little bit of water and what we do is it turns it into a nice fine paste for them. Uh, so it also uh, is another different way of them eating it. Uh, so today they should be getting 20 grams, um, so we'll just remove a bit out and it should be precisely 20 grams for them or for our armadillo. Our armadillos are also getting very finely uh, chopped steamed sweet potato. Uh, the reason why we steam it here at the park is it makes it um, a little bit more palatable for them. Uh, it's a lot easier to eat as well uh, and that's because the steaming actually breaks down some of the vegetable cells so it makes it a little bit easier for uh, the armadillos and not just the armadillos, lots of other animals to be able to digest them. Um, so we're also going to be making food for uh, two of our coloured chickens. Um, so we have two black-tailed marmosets up in our rainforest building. Uh, here at Paradise we have a strict fruit-free diet. So a lot of people think that primates would eat a lot of fruit. Naturally out in the wild they would, but cultivated fruit that we have um, that is designed for us and in our consumption um, is not suitable for primates, uh, particularly small ones like our black-tailed marmosets. So here we have uh, no, we, here we give them nothing but vegetables, uh, which they still really really enjoy. Um, we give them two different types of boiled veg um, each day, or steamed veg, uh, which makes it nice and palatable for them, and also quite easy for them to digest. Today they're getting butternut squash and sweet potato. Uh, they also get two types of uh, raw um, root veg. Uh, today it's carrot and celeriac. And then at the end we give them uh, three different types of other veg, uh, so, uh, which is normally their favourite. Uh, we have sugar snap peas, uh, mini corns and also tomatoes that are going to be going in today. Uh, we also give them um, a, uh, quite a lot of protein as well and this is usually insects because out in the wild calotrichids will eat a lot of insects out in the uh, rainforest. So that can vary, um, it can be mealworms, morio worms, crickets, locusts, uh, but they also um, as well we give them lots of nuts and seeds and also um, some steamed chicken as well um, just to add a bit of extra protein to their diet. We weigh out all of our food um, here very thoroughly and um, it has to be exact uh, even if it, our food is over by one or two grams that does not seem a lot to us but when you are a very very small primate that uh, can make 
quite a difference. Uh, so it's really, really important that you get your weights um, exact. Uh, we do vary on how we cut our food as well. Today I'm doing it quite nice small uh, chunks for them, uh, but this can change daily. Um, of course, you don't want it too big, because they are only a small primate, uh, but it is quite enriching when you have uh, different food um, that is all different sizes as well. Uh, so we're just uh, weighing it to make sure we've got exact. Um, all of our food is actually recorded too. Um, so when I say recorded, I mean we write it down um, onto some sheets. Uh, we record what actually is going into their diet, uh, and at the, once the once the enclosures have been cleaned, we also record what has come out. And um, this gives us a good indication on what the animals are actually eating, uh, if they have a particular favourite or if they're leaving um, a lot of stuff. Uh, we can look into why, but also it's very good um, to look into if there are any um, health issues the next day for instance uh, anything wrong with their feces we can take a look into what um, they had uh, in their diet the day before uh, and uh, that's usually a good indication on um, what we can look into if that was the reason why they have uh, any health implications. The next. Another important thing is to make sure that you're not um, cross-contaminating when it comes to, to using bowls and utensils. Um, here at Paradise Wildlife Park, all of our sections usually have their own bowls uh, that they use every day for the same animals. Um, and uh, they are all uh, labelled with what animal um, that should be. Uh, and uh, that way you're not mixing up any bowls and uh, no feet are getting muddled up. We also find it very important to record what um, is left over. So in the morning clean, the team collects all old food and instead of just throwing it away, we actually re-weigh everything that has been left. Uh, so uh, this um, trio munch, breakfast pellet, uh, butternut squash, everything that has been left over. Um, once again, it's really important to weigh it because then we can also get a good indication on what the animals are actually eating, uh, what they're not eating, and as I said before, uh, anything that uh, could cause health implications. Uh, so um, the team will actually bring back any old food that we have from uh, the animals left over uh, instead of just throwing it away, uh, and it is important that we record what has actually been left over. Uh, so this is where we leave it. Uh, we don't take it into our feed room or other working areas for cross-contamination purposes, but also this has been in animals' enclosures, uh, so it's not very hygienic to be taken into um, a food prep area.